Hey there guys and welcome to another Prime in China video. Once again we are here with this embarrassing father-son duo Barrett. As Barrett says, once again they are there with CRI, a state-run media outlet in Tiananmen Square. We are here in Tiananmen Square to see something that I've never seen before and that's the flag raising ceremony. Just to give you a bit of context, we are with China Radio International in Beijing and we have been for the past couple of days and that is who is taking us around. So I'm not going to introduce you to everybody because there is about 50 people. Uh, but yeah, that's why we're here and that's what we're doing. To see a flag raising ceremony. Hilarious. First, your defense for not being established with state-run media is going on state-run media. We cover opinion, we cover tech, we cover daily life, and we cover food, all sorts of different things. Now, about two weeks ago, it was on the 9th of January, actually, we were featured in an article in the Times of London newspaper, both in the newspaper and the online version. And that article accused us of being paid by and working for the Chinese government. We are with China Radio International in Beijing and we have been for the past couple of days and that is who is taking us around. To make positive videos about China. Now that's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's just completely untrue. We are with China Radio International in Beijing and we have been for the past couple of days and that is who is taking us around now it is to go to tiananmen square with state-run media to watch a flag raising ceremony i don't know i could be wrong but that's a very horrible way to prove that you're you know not working with state-run media but i could be wrong i guess i'll just let the audience decide that's just absolutely ridiculous. This is the square that we're allowed into because we're with China Radio International, which is kind of cool. They're giving us a nice spot where we can take some good photos and stuff. How insensitive does it get? I mean, to go to a flag raising ceremony at Tiananmen Square. Can you really be that tone deaf? I mean, the massacre and everything there and you're not a part of state-run media, and you go to a flag-raising ceremony. Wow. I think it's hilarious how political these guys are, yet they claim they're not political. We cover opinion, we cover opinion, we cover opinion, we cover opinion, we cover tech, we cover daily life, and we cover food, all sorts of different things. They claim they aren't being used as tools. They claim that they're not being fed by propaganda. They're not being told what to say what to do. Yet, they're always doing the most propaganda scene events and talking to the most known propaganda pushers of the country. Again, when they tried to prove that they weren't working with state-run media, what do they do? They go on state-run media and talk to Liu Xin? Come on now. Come on now. That's like me trying to say I'm not fat while eating pizza on camera. Okay, that's how embarrassing that is. They make this claim to sound as if Thousands of people stop and gather around to watch. Then, as little Barrett Kitty here pans the camera, you realize it's just them and the CRI guys. No one else is there except the army, the band, and them. Mm -hmm. Yet again, another propaganda show to show that, you know, there's just some white dudes being so proud of China and its communist government that, of course, has never done anything wrong right there on Tiananmen Square. Again, as Sir Pensa said in his video a long time ago, useful idiots. Seriously, why these guys don't have their passports revoked? is just beyond me. The officials in Beijing, they look super official. Scarily official. It really is. It's really confusing. 
you know, it's time for the West to stop allowing our own citizens to undermine our freedoms and democracy and to actually just start shit canning these guys. I got poopy. Get him out of here. Get rid of them. We've got to stop allowing people to ruin freedom of speech, to go out there and speak against us, you know, especially when it comes to supporting communism. Like you literally go to Tiananmen Square and support a communist flag being raised where people died in the name of democracy. How embarrassing does it get? And the other thing that I think is really embarrassing is when the Barretts even think to themselves and wonder, do we have this in, the, in Britain? Do we do this in Britain? Yeah, it looks good. I would also like to go and watch the British one and see how it differs. Uh, we do, we, I don't know whether we have a flag race or we have something called Trooping of the Colour on the Queen's birthday, which is very, very impressive indeed. And they literally don't even know. They have to question themselves. It's like, do you guys realize that you're British? You should know this stuff. But no, no, forget being British. Forget, you know, loving your own country, your own people. They're out there to support some communism. Tools and useful idiots. So that's all I have for today's video. I know, short video, not a lot of uh, stuff to go along with it. More videos coming soon. I just wanted to get something put out. Um, it's just, it continues on with these guys. And it's so embarrassing that it, it has to be pointed out. It's just so embarrassing. Um, but yeah, more videos coming soon. If you guys have any ideas or any videos you want to see, type down in the comment section below. Uh, pretty soon there should be some live streams coming and things like that. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.